What's up, everybody? Coach Jesse here with another video. Um, ever since I've been doing these YouTube videos, I've been getting a lot of messages and DMs from a lot of amateur fighters. Uh, the reason why I do these videos, I love to help fighters, especially amateur fighters. They, they need all the help they can get. Um, but one of the questions was, how do I find an organization to fight for as an amateur? Now, I've been around the fight game for over 20 years. Um, and and uh, I've seen my fair share of Yankee ass promoters and, and Yankee ass matchmakers. Um, but through the years, they've been weeded out, you know, kicked, kicked out to the side. Um, but I just wanted to come on here and highlight one organization that I've been watching. And I really like what they're what they're doing, and what they got going on. Um, it's uh, F H F N. Sorry, H F N. It's, it stands for Hendo's Fight, Fight Night. Now, Hendo starts with Dan. And yes, I'm talking about Dan Henderson. Okay. Dan Henderson is a legend. He that, that man is a beast in the MMA game. If you've never seen Dan Henderson fight, you need to go watch his fights in Pride, especially in Pride and the UFC and Strike Force. Th this man is, is is one of my favorite fighters of all time. Um He's held belts in pride, and I believe in strike force. Um, he's fought the who's who's, you know. What I mean, he's always a smaller man, but he always knocks people. Man, he's got that mean overhand and Greco Roman wrestling. Um, yeah, I can't say enough good stuff about Henderson, but if you, you know, what I mean, go go watch him. But they have an organization, um, that they they started for, for amateur fighters. And what I've been seeing is uh, um, good quality, good quality shows, good quality stuff that's coming out um, from them. Um, I, I saw one podcast that I believe it was Rampage Jackson and Henderson was on it as a guest, and he was saying that they brought out all the all the fighters um, like they used to do in Pride. Now, if you've never seen the entrance to a Pride fight. Um, you don't know what you're missing. If you think the spear was good, wait till you see Pride's entrance. They used to come out with drums and then the, what's the lady's name with the crazy voice and introducing all the fighters and they would stand. Oh man, I'm getting chills. I miss Pride. But for, for Henderson and their crew and all them to do that for the fighters and give the amateurs that, um, professional feel them just standing there and getting introduced in front of everybody good on them you know what i mean they're putting time and effort into what they got going on and when you do that you put out quality shows and and a quality event and that's something you want to stick with and, and fight for you know what i mean so uh i just i just wanted to come on here and highlight them um go follow them on instagram and, and stuff like that. Um, I believe their matchmaker is Harvey Castellone. If I butchered your name, Harvey, I apologize. Um, but I've heard good things about Harvey. And uh, I believe he's a good matchmaker. And I don't believe the organization would be doing any stuff like that. So, But uh, you always want to have a good matchmaker. Because a lot of the times before they would... Uh, matchmakers would try to pad a fighter's records. You know what I mean? So they can start going to go pro. So let's say you had a five and old guy and you're a beginner and they would throw you in there where he can eat you up. So they build his record and stuff. But uh, I don't believe this organization would ever do anything like that. And I believe the rant uh, is by camo. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to come in here and highlight them. Um, hopefully maybe one day they can invite me out. I'll go meet the crew, maybe take some fighters. I've been talking to Harvey on Instagram. He sent me a list of their um of their fights coming up they are looking for fighters if you are looking to fight for them do not reach out to them as a as a fighter you, you can reach out for information but make sure your coach does it okay make sure your coach reaches, reaches out and sets stuff up don't go up behind your coach's back make sure your coach does all the all the setting up and, and stuff like that okay that's my advice to you but um, if you want any more information, uh, feel free to message me or message them. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to come on here and, and highlight them. Uh, good job to you guys, uh, Hendo and all the crew. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, till the next one, Coach Jesse, and I'm out.